Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, then hi. And my name is Carrington. Big, huge, special welcome to you. I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking the little bell so you're notified of all my future uploads. As well, if this is your 10th time, 100th time, 50th time, second time here, and you still have not yet hit that subscribe button, I absolutely invite you to do so. So that way you can join this dump. Dumpster fire, dumpster fire, dumpster fire of a channel. On this channel, we do unboxing, shop my stashes, get ready with me. We do all kinds of fun things on this channel. We do reviews. We do um, themed things. We talk about some true crime here and there. So if that sounds like something that you guys are interested in, then definitely hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, in today's video, my son is going to be tr picking out my makeup. Now, last month my daughter did it and it was fun. It was a good time. So this month is my son's turn. He has been bugging me to do this. He is six years old. My son also has autism. So if, you know, and if he's, he also has a speech impediment. So if you literally can't hold back from saying anything nice, then you can go ahead and exit out the video here. But one thing I will not put up with is making fun of a kid. It doesn't matter if it's my kid, any other kid, um, and talking down to people with disabilities. So we're not doing that on this channel. So if you have nothing nice to say, it's okay. You can go ahead and exit out. But if you would like to see what he picked out, then I will go ahead and start inserting the video part where he gets to practice his numbers. Hi guys, today we're going to do a makeup video like we're going to do options. Now you get to pick my option. Three. three. Okay, so three is single eyeshadows. This, this one, these. Yep. And one. Yep. Must be pulled two. <laughs> All right, so we've got old affordable. We only have one in that category, so he has picked the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. All right, hold in. Pick another number. Okay, I'm going to do the right. Fifteen. All right. Hold in. You can pick any one of these. Doesn't matter which one. Just pick one. And what was it that you picked? Fifteen. So fifteen is eyeliner. New affordable eyeliners. Instead of picking out a liquid, he picked out two cream gels. We've got a brown and we've got a green. The next number? Yep, next number. It's going to be six and eight. We'll just pick one. Like right, this. Oh, uh, 17? Yeah, it's by six. 17 six. is lashes. Oh. Is this the same? New high end. Wait, that so I only have one of the high-end lashes because I'm not trying to buy a whole bunch of high-end lashes. So these are the Beauty Bakery Sweet Treat Lashes. So hold on, pick another number. Okay, because mom don't really have a lot of makeup. Some, she has one. Alright, 16 is Isla. No, mascara. Mascara. Pick mm -hmm. whichever one ah. you want. Okay, new high end. All right, he picked the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. Seven. Right, number seven. Okay, number seven is setting spray. Set it. Okay. Surface. Okay. Okay. New Indie. So I only have one that's in the New Indie category, and this is from Beauty Creations. That's the Coconut Setting Spray. Beauty Creations. Beauty okay. Creations, yeah. So it's the Coconut Setting Spray. So, all right. Hold it. What's the next one you're going to pick? This one's your favorite. What number is that? 60. No. That's two zero. Two zero. Um, two zero. 
Yes. Angel. All right, you picked out old drugstore. Uh, fans. Holding for drugstore. Pick out the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tent. This will be perfect for winter. <laughs> All right, hold on. Next number. Number 12, 12 is a bronzer. Three, four, five, All right, hold on. Pick out a card. Six. I got six more, yep. I guess. Like, if I just... New affordable. All right, so I only have one. So that is the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. All right, hold on. You're up next. Next number? Yep. Thirteen. Thirteen. Alright. Alright, hold on. Pick out a card. Pick a card, any card. All cards, none of the cards. What is that? Old drugstore. I just picked the game. Blue last night. <laughs> picked out one elf bacon. And what elf? Or something Ooh. blush. And always cheeky. And then we have the Profusion elf. Blush 2 Six Shade Blush Palette. Number five is a pore filling primer. Here you go, hold on. Pore filling primer. New high end. So for the creams, he's picked um, two blush sticks from ColourPop. We have the blush sticks in the shade So Called and a blush sticks in the shade Run, no, Rum Runner. All right, hold on. Your very last one is 10. Yep, 10 cream bronzer. So, ten cream bronzer. I heard of that. New high end. So, he picked the Say Sun Melt Natural mm -hmm. Cream Bronzer in light bronze. All right, hold on. You finally made it to the very end. How do you feel? Good. Good. All right, so that is it. The next time you guys will see me is when I'm talking about the products from the bag that my daughter picked and introducing the products that Holden picked. So I will see you guys then. Say bye, Holden. Bye. All right, so as you saw, my son picked out my products. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the products um, that I used last month. So first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about um, three things that are gonna be moved over into next month. Um, and that is right here. This is the ultimate eye primer. I don't think I need to keep like singing this thing's praise, although it is good. Um, but this is definitely going on into my next month shop my stash. That's the card that he picked. It was old affordable. This is old it's affordable. It's the only one that I have. So um, this is definitely going into my next month. I think we all know I love it. So that's all I need to say about that. Next up is my NYX Glitter Glue Primer. This literally goes with me everywhere. I use this to put on glitters, shimmers, metallics, um, liquids, everything under the sun. So this is again going in. <sighs> this thing has made it to another shop my stash. This Mr. Mint Color Pop lip thing. Like I, I feel like I'm going to use this up, but like I never do. I always, I'm always like this month is the month. I, I'm pretty sure I'm doomed with this thing forever. I think that's just like how it is. I'm like literally just doomed with this thing forever. Okay, so then she picked out some cream liquid type shadows. Oh, listen. I just do not think that like my eye shape, my eye type is made for like products like these and I don't think there's anything wrong with that I think that like you know everything works differently for everyone but I could glitter prime my eyes not glitter prime my eyes just use you know my um, ult my ulta matte primer and put these on I could not just put it on my bare lids I could set it with powder not set it with powder just set the lid with powder like just whatever and these just liquid and cream shadows just tend to really crease on my eyes disappear become patchy and not look good and that just happened to be the case with these as well so it's not that I don't know that necessarily these are bad products I just personally can't attest to it just because they don't work for me I cannot begin to tell you the amount of companies formulas that I have tried of these it just does not work so then we can talk about palettes I didn't get a whole lot of uses out of these because 
Last month was like a whole month of trying new palettes. This month is going to be a whole month of nothing new. So there, a disclaimer, there will be one month, or uh, one month, one day where I am doing a collab so that we'll have some new products in it. And I will also talk about my haul from November. But other than that, I'm not really going to be using any new products. I'm just having some like fun holiday type like videos. I'm not doing Vlogmas. I'm not like even uploading like every single day. I'm actually going to scale back um, a little bit for the month of December. But this first palette is the Pat McGrath Utopian Dream Palette. This is so beautiful, especially like I love these two like topperish shades. One's like very green, one's very purple. Again, these are very much some topper type of shades, but I really do like them. I think they're really kind of special. The mattes aren't really anything that special. I actually don't really care for it's it's not that I don't care for I think it's a good formula I just this is really bright and these are kind of more muted cool tones while the, this one's definitely more like a warm toned kind of pink so I wish that would have been switched out for something different but other than that like the other shimmers are like beautiful I think Pat McGrath does a great job she does have a very expensive formula very expensive brand so this isn't for everyone I don't think I don't know if you necessarily need this I mean, you can get good topper shades almost anywhere, like out of, not almost anywhere, at other kind of brands, but those are beautiful to me. The next one, <laughs> I think I love this <laughs> more than I should. This is like just like a basic rainbow palette. Like it's definitely just like very rainbow-ish. But what I love the most about this is that it's Care Bear themed and my nickname a lot of people call me Care Bear um growing up I had the nickname Care Bear I collected Care Bears um so this was like definitely like a very special palette it has like a special meaning to me and the quality wasn't really that bad either um like those are the mattes and like those are like wow kind of mattes and whoops accidentally and like here's two of like the shimmers like those are really nice as well I really didn't find any issues with these um yeah like, like they, they were decently they were nice I just wouldn't say like that's my favorite or like the best but the nostalgia was really nice okay so let's move on to face primers I had the milk milk hydro grip face primer I used about half of this up um it was laying on its side so it looks full here but I would say I use half of this up if not a little bit more this is okay I hear so many people sing this things praise and I don't get it I think it's all right like I think it does give you like a tacky base but I wouldn't say this is something that I'm like wanting to run out and grab like the full size of especially for how expensive it is I think this is just an okay primer and once I do finish this off I don't really think that I'm going to be repurchasing it all right so now we have this one size secure the blur I do actually really like this we are currently down to like right here so I only have this much left um, but again I really do think this is a really nice pore filling primer is it my favorite pore filling primer no my all-time favorite pore filling primer is the Tatcha the liquid silk canvas I love that I could talk about that for days and sing that's praise for days but I think that this is like a decent product um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I did purchase it. Actually, I got this in a trim move box, so I'm actually really happy with that. <sighs> For foundation, I have this Uoma by Sharon C. Flawless In Real Life Skin Perfecting Foundation. Okay, I don't really care for this. I'm um, not going to lie. I don't know if it's just like me and like my skin type because I'm very dry. But I found that if I tried building it up, so if I, I literally only need to put one pump and after one pump, you know, that covers your face and it gives it kind of like a very like high light coverage. So it's definitely light. A lot of my stuff peeks through redness, um, pimples, dark spots, things like that definitely peek through. If I want to build this up for any more coverage, it begins to look so so, so so cakey and crepey on my face I cannot stand it and it feels heavy and it just doesn't sink it looks like it's just setting the only way for me to look like this is literally just sinking into my skin 
is to definitely just like one pump and have it be a light later layer anything other than that it just doesn't work for me so i am not this is a no for me for concealer we have the ulta full coverage look concealer i actually really like this i it is very yellow like this is for fair cool okay but like let's just like talk about like okay fair cool but it's like so yellow compared to like like here's my skin like fair cool and it's just very much more yellow but what i like about this is that like it just like blends out so beautifully like like just a couple of pounces and it literally blends out beautifully and i think it does provide a decent amount of coverage so i really do like that i just wish it wasn't so warm next up i got to try out this milk makeup um matte what is this called matte bronzer in the shade baked i actually really do like this i'm able to just kind of like load up my brush i usually like to use like this elf one for like my um cream products and i thought this was great i thought this was great for my skin tone it was really really easy to like blend into the skin didn't look like muddy or cakey it literally just blended in beautifully sank into the skin i really do enjoy this next up for cream blushes we picked out the honest beauty we picked out she picked out the honest beauty cream blush as you can tell i definitely got some use out of that i really do like this it definitely needs to be like nice and warmed up for it to really get the best like um what do i want to say not opacity but like the best pigment because it really it's definitely one that definitely needs a lot no it doesn't smell old um i just want to make sure it didn't smell old for whatever reason um to get the best pigmentation the next one that she picked out i didn't get a ton of use out of this but i did get some use and i do really like the fenty um cheek products and this is in fuego flush I really actually found that like I really kind of sometimes liked mixing these two together to kind of give like a like an interesting I don't know kind of like color um, and so I really liked doing that sometimes um, sometimes like if I did a more orangish look I was able to just use this sometimes I just use this sometimes I didn't use cream products at all just kind of always just kind of varied for setting powder we have the wet n wild photo focus translucent powder i did get a pretty good amount of use out of this i really did like it i do have to go in pretty lightly because it can get very thick for my dry skin um and a little bit cakey so i definitely have to make sure my brush is tapped off um but i found that like it really did um set my like cream products down so it didn't like you know move around switch around all day really just made it last in place um, or I would just set my eyelids with this and my under eyes and I was good to go. So I really did, um, enjoy this product. I don't think it beats my fate, my Maybelline fit me, but this is also a good option for powder bronzer. She picked out this highlight and contour one palette, and I just do not like this. It looks so muddy. It looks patchy. Um, I feel like the shades that like are in here for like the bronzer, like part, aren't like the best for my skin tone i don't know i don't know what it is but i just do not like this i even tried like mixing like like on like here you can't even see it when i use the light one like here's the, like the light one and you can barely see it here's the dark one that's too much and then you mix them together and it's just it's still too dark i don't know i just don't think this was good for somebody that has fair. I wish they would have maybe done a couple different ones, like one for more fair, one for light, one for medium, one for dark. I feel like that would have been a, a lot more inclusive. Not to mention, I cannot get one of these highlighters, not even one of them, to really work that well for my skin tone. Like, it just uh, they just don't really work out. Okay, next up is this highlight palette this is from revolution in combination with soap x this is a very like 50 50 palette some of these were like like this one right here so like lackluster but then you got these other ones i don't know it's like i feel like swatching them it looks okay but 
See, like some of them are good and you have ones right here that are barely noticeable. I don't know, this is like a very like 50-50 palette. I probably would never purchase this for full price again because it was markedly expensive, probably because it's a collab. There were two blushes that she picked. The first one right here is the one from the Lizzie McGuire. This is Delish. This, as you can tell, has a, I don't know if you can tell on camera. Can you tell on camera? Like it has a ton of glitter in it and that definitely translates onto the face. It falls all over the face. I am not in love with this. I do not think that this is like the best blush. I wish they would quit putting stupid glitter in everything. Like ColourPop, get your shit together. Next from ColourPop is another blush. Okay, this is in Viola. It's a super shock cheek. Okay, somebody please tell me how you like get this because when I would use this with a finger, with a brush, whatever, it was like so pigmented. And then when I would try to blend it out, no matter if it was with a sponge, brush, fingers, whatever, it would not blend out. Like I literally had to sit there and finesse it, use powder, everything else to get it to work. I hated that, which is unusual because the next product I'm going to talk about, I loved. I don't know. It's just, I did not care for that. If you have used the Super Shock Cheeks, what is the best way to get them to work? Let me know. But then, talking about the next product, here is the quad in Just a Flush. I loved this quad. I loved everything about this quad. This bronzer, perfect for my skin tone, worked beautifully. It was one that definitely had to be built up. I'm okay with that. These two blushes, again, absolutely beautiful. And as you can tell, the star of the show is like anytime I went in with a highlighter, it was this one. It is so stunningly beautiful. Like, look at that. It's so beautiful. I have, can't remember if I've ever used a Super Shock highlighter. And if I haven't, it's been a while. But I love this. All right. So next up for um, brow gel, I use this Uoma. I love this. I think this is a really great brow gel. I think she picked out a good one. Um, so I do enjoy this. This brow pencil, I also liked. <clears throat> and this is odd because it says warm brown. And warm brown, I should not be using because it does not match my hair color. But I felt like this was really like a good medium. I didn't really feel like it was overly warm. But I feel like that worked out pretty okay. I like how precise it is. Um, I thought this was a great like, combo together because this definitely is more of like a cool tone. And so mixing these together, I thought really made my brows look good. All right. And this is the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. I don't, I don't care for this. I just don't think that this is like a really like overly like great product. I don't think it did much of anything. It says big bad lashes. I don't know what they mean by big, like big and voluminous, big and long, both. I don't know, but it's not doing anything for me. Next up was this Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. I used this whenever I was going to use lashes. I used this when I was going to put on lashes to hide the band. This is probably my favorite liquid liner. I don't use a lot of liquid liners, but honestly, I feel like after using this, I don't need to use any other liquid liners. I feel like this is perfect. In terms of lip liners, um, some of these she didn't pick, some of these I threw in, some I think I've lost along the way, or whatever, but I have been experimenting, like playing around with like contouring the lips and using different lip liners for like different things um, that you've probably have seen in some of my other videos. And so I had a lot of fun. I really liked um, the ColourPop ones. I, there's some times where I really hate it because it'll like fall into the tube, especially after you sharpen it. So I don't love that. This Charlotte Tilbury lip liner though, okay, this is incredible. This will last through almost, I feel like almost anything. This will last through a hurricane, okay? This will last you through a tornado. This thing's gonna be there forever. So um, I definitely really, really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed playing with some lip combos. Let me know if you've seen any of my other videos where I did have some like interesting lip combos, what you thought. Let me know that down below. Okay, so then she picked out quite a few lip glosses. So she picked out the two from Laura Lee. I really did, and I do enjoy these. Like, as you can tell, like, I've got a good dent going in each one. These were probably, like, these are honestly one of my favorite glosses, um, as well as, like, the um, Lunar Beauty. I love Lunar Beauty, and I love their glosses. They have such a good, comfortable gloss formula. I feel like their gloss formula is a little, this one's a little bit thicker than the Laura Lee. 
So if you want something that's very, very light, Laurel is going to be better. If you would like a thicker, smoother gloss, the Lunar Beauty is going to be up your alley. And then she picked out two from Glamlight. I didn't get a whole lot of use out of these. Like, I used them some. Um, this one was, like, okay. Like, they're okay. Like, they're just, like, kind of more, like, opaque, colorful glosses. And, like, that's fine. Um, but I don't really... Is this a gloss? I feel like this is a liquid lipstick. Um, I think this is a liquid lipstick. Yeah, no, this is a liquid lipstick. Um, and I think this would be perfect for, like, the holidays. Um, so I did use this more towards like Thanksgiving because I did have quite a few Thanksgivings to get to. Um, and so I used this and I thought it was beautiful, but like this, I didn't use a whole lot. As for the other like gloss, uh, um, liquid lipstick options, um, she picked out this Jeffree Star Christmas cookie. I think it's, star I think my Jeffree, Glo uh, liquid lipsticks are starting to like dry out and I'm okay with that. Like I'm not going to be repurchasing anything. Um, but like there's Christmas cookie. I really like that for, I like this like color, I should say. For like a really nice nude. It's like my lips, but better kind of. Um, and then we have the Vivid Lip Paint from Give Me Glow. They don't make these anymore, but she did, um, pick out the shade. What is this? New Moon. I said I hated these at first. I regret my life choices, okay? But this is definitely like a much like deeper. So like this is my lips, but better. And here's just like adding a little bit of depth deepness to it and then last is the um uh, alva cream lip stain from odin's eye i don't know why i couldn't think of that from like odin's eye so this is very much it's like a very creamy like stain um i think it's like a really nice wet formula it feels really comfortable on the lips it smells what is what is it that i want to say <sighs> like a like, like, like grapes. Like, have you ever had like grape flavored like things, like grape Jolly Ranchers? It kind of reminds me of like that scent. And the last product, the product I probably hated the most out of this whole entire thing, was this stupid I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Mist with Vitamin E. This thing. First of all, I will go ahead and say it has a nice mist beautiful mist love the mist this literally is nothing but glitter <laughs> this is not setting your face this is literally just giving you glitter herpes and when i say glitter herpes your face is covered with multi-dimensional glitters i'm talking blue i'm talking pink i'm talking purple but it doesn't just stop at your face it gets all over your clothes it gets in your hair it gets on your shoes it gets on your workspace and it just feels like it's never going to go away i hate this product i hate this product i hate this product so we have went through everything that my daughter picked out so now we're going to go through everything just like really quickly run through everything that my son picked and then we will wrap up this video um the first thing he picked out was this um be perfect um x stacy marie um carnival 3 love tahiti palette um, i have not yet used been able to use this so i'm really excited as you can tell we've got some greens we've got some beautiful purples pinks some corals um definitely like a very summery palette so kind of odd that it's winter time and this is what we've got but perfectly fine i think this will be a fun palette to get to try out i really liked the antidote palette so i'm really excited to see how well i like this quality for primer we have the i heart revolution tasty watermelon for the hydrating this is i'm nervous about as well like you see those little blotches in there i'm really hoping that is not glitter um, for the pore filling we have the bare minerals primetime original foundation primer i feel like i've used this like once or twice before i honestly cannot remember what i think about this so it's almost like using it all over again we picked out the neutrogena hydro boost hydrating tent this is really good especially for me with dry skin during the winter having like a really nice hydrating tent this has hyaluronic acid in it moisturizes and plumps the skin I have used this before. I do like it. It has a doe foot applicator. Not a huge fan of that for foundation, but I think it does provide a nice coverage and it's not super drying or cakey. He then picked these out to color correct. I have used like this kind of thing for underneath my eyes to correct dark spots. I have never used a green color corrector. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go. I'm not really for sure how to use it, but it's, it's a journey. We're here for the journey. 
Concealer, we have the e.l.f. Hydrating, no, 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 e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in Fair Rose. I did not pick the hydrating one, but we have the regular. Again, this provides really great coverage. Um, it, it's a little bit cakey on me under my eyes, but overall, I think this is a good concealer, so I'm excited to be able to use this again. For bronzer, we have the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer in Light Bronze. I have never used this before, so this is definitely going to be a first time use. Another first time thing is the cream um, blush sticks um, from ColourPop. I have never used these. I um, have no idea the formula, how well these work, things like that. So this is also something else that I have to try out, get to know, see if I like it. For setting powder, I have the Sydney Grace. This is the Cloud Nine setting powder. Um, this is in the shade Fair. This is definitely kind of more of like a heavy powder, so I do have to be very light-handed with it. But overall, I think it's really nice. For eyes, these are just kind of extra add-ins. We've got like the Nabla Glitter Palette in Ruby Lights. Um, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. And then we have the uh, Stila liquid metals and diamond dust for a bronzing powder i have not used this either <laughs> seems to be a theme here and um, this is the essence sun club matte bronzing powder in lighter skin so uh, i mean this is what i think the imprint is really pretty in it um it looks like nice and light for my skin tone but excited to try it for blushes we have the elf primer infused i do love these brushes i think they give a very nice um color to the skin for highlighter, he picked out the Space Age Prophecy from Kaleidos. This is kind of like a multi-chrome shift. It looks kind of like a green and gold kind of a shift. For lashes, we have Sweet Treat Lashes and Buttercream. Never used those, so excited. For lip liners, he picked out two as there was only two in that category. This is from Wet n Wild. We have a very pink one and we have a very brown one. Eyeliners, we have these two from ColourPop. Um, we have Woodsy, which is in collaboration with Robbie D. Christie. It's more of a brown. We have this one from the Tinkerbell called Fly With Me, which is more of a green. Mascara, we have the Hourglass um, Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara. Never tried this, so excited to try this. Glosses, we've got a couple from Jeffree Star that he picked out. He also picked out a couple liquid lipsticks from Jeffree Star as well. And then last up is this Beauty Creations Coconut Setting Spray. All right, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button, click the little bell, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!